On April 13, 2010, Dr. Brian LaPointe and Research Assistant Brad Bedford from Harbor Branch at FAU's Center for Marine Ecosystem Health began field studies as part of their NASA project to integrate water quality sampling with satellite remote sensing to enhance ecosystem management of South Florida rivers and coastal habitats. Dr. LaPointe, who directs Harbor Branch's Harmful Algal Bloom program, is principal investigator of the project, and Dr. Chua Min Hu, assistant scientist at the University of South Florida's Institute for Remote Sensing, is co-principal investigator. The study will examine the ecological effects of discharges from the two largest rivers in southwest Florida, the Caloosahatchee River off Fort Myers and Shark River near Cape Sable. Field studies involve sampling waters along offshore transects for salinity, ammonium, urea, nitrate, phosphate, total nitrogen, total phosphorus, turbidity, color, chlorophyll A, and phytoplankton taxa. Surface water samples were collected from the boat, and scuba divers collected the near-bottom water samples by purging sample bottles filled with deionized water prior to sample collection. Scuba divers also collected benthic macroalgae that will be analyzed for stable carbon and nitrogen isotopes to discriminate between natural and anthropogenic nitrogen sources supporting algal growth. Three microlabs were deployed in nearshore waters of both study areas to provide time series measurements of ammonium, nitrate, and phosphate through several tidal cycles. The uniqueness of what we're doing on this NASA project is that we are integrating sampling in the water with satellite remote sensing to enhance uh, management of our river discharges and their linkage to the development of harmful algal blooms on the west coast of Florida. This includes red tides and also non-toxic harmful algal blooms such as high biomass, phytoplankton and macroalgae blooms that have been problematic in the Florida Bay and Florida Keys area. Mr. Russell Frydenborg and Ms. Joy Jackson from the Florida Department of Environmental Protection were also involved in the field sampling effort. The department has strict guidelines for quality assurance and quality control of environmental and nutrient sampling and analysis. Russ and Joy worked closely with Harbor Branch staff during the field sampling to ensure that sampling methods and protocols met the department's requirements. Mr. David English from the University of South Florida deployed instruments to measure bio-optical properties of the water column, such as colored dissolved organic matter, chlorophyll A fluorescence, and spectral reflectance. These bio-optical measurements can be directly related to satellite imagery of the study areas on the day that the sampling occurred. This study directly addresses two of NASA's priority issues identified by the Gulf of Mexico Alliance that target water quality and nutrient reduction. The results will also provide a baseline to evaluate the impacts of the ongoing Comprehensive Everglades Restoration Program, the largest environmental restoration effort in human history. Our NASA project comes at a perfect time. Both the Florida Department of Environmental Protection and the United States Environmental Protection Agency are currently engaged in setting numerical nutrient standards. The development of these nutrient standards is very important because over time these will help to moderate the environmental impacts of harmful algal blooms as well as human health impacts and economic impacts in the vital coastal waters of southwest Florida.